here we have the part of the kidney parenchyma with something that looks like a tumor mass. Here we have the renal cortex. This is the capsule of the kidney. And here we have the perirenal adipose tissue. On the higher magnification, we can see that this mass is composed of sheets of characteristic cells. And all of these cells are actually macrophages. Uh, they have slightly eosinophilic, foamy cytoplasm and small round inconspicuous nuclei. These larger round structures here, those are not nuclei of the cells, those are intracytoplasmic inclusions. They are usually larger than the nuclei of the macrophages. Uh, they are basophilic and some of them have central uh, dot. These intracytoplasmic inclusions are called Michaelis Gutman bodies and they are characteristic for so-called malacoplakia. So this is not a tumor, this is inflammatory lesion. It is typically caused by E. coli infection. The macrophages then phagocytose uh, bacteria. However, the intracytoplasmic destruction of the bacteria inside of these macrophages uh, is defective. And part of these uh, digested bacterial products of function as a nidus for calcium deposits. So all of these structures here, those are small calcification inside of the cytoplasm of the ma macrophages. The accumulation of these macrophages then creates a mass. Sometimes we can see similar accumulation of these xanthomatous macrophages, however, without calcifications and without these Michaelis Gutman bodies. And um, that would be called xanth xanthogranulomatous pyelonephritis. Michaelis Gutman bodies uh, would be positive for calcium uh, specific stains like von Cossa stain, for example. Immunosuppression is a predisposing factor for malacoplakia. It could be associated with the defective lysosomal degradation of these bacterial products inside of the macrophages. Here we have part of the normal renal parenchyma with the glomeruli and renal tubules. Thanks for watching.